All right, YouTubers, time to make one of my favorite things. I can't ever get the desire for a good juicy burger out of my mind. Nothing beats a good juicy burger. So, in goes a pound of hamburger. This is uh, ground beef, 90% lean. And now that you got the burger all ready to go, it's time to add some hot Italian sausage. Nothing better. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is slowly mix it together. It's going to take a really long time because I like to be thorough and get it all in there. It's going to make the burger so much better. Juicy goodness. All right, we'll come back after I've kneaded that for a while. All right, so that took a while. When it seemed like I was done, I went some more. Got it all mixed up nice and good. I've had many things around the world and not much compares to a wonderful juicy burger. Sriracha. Not a lot because you got hot sausage in there. Just enough for me. I like to add this McCormick's hamburger seasoning. This is some Famous Dave's steak burger. I think I do all my prep first and then that way I don't have to swap it into all kinds of sauces and stuff. But again, I uh, a good juicy burger and this is going to be one. And I am going to enjoy every morsel of it. All right. So that's all mixed up, and then we're going to cook it. I'm going to get it all hot and juicy on a grill here soon. All right, YouTubers, because I felt like, well, maybe these uh, burgers needed to be on the pretty side, I'm going to use the stuffs press, even though I'm not going to stuff them. So I'm just going to smush them down. Make them a little bit prettier. All right. Hope you don't mind. These are half pound burgers, aren't they? So I'm gonna end up with four of them. Let's get these suckers out to the grill, huh? All right, let's get these burgers cooking. And away they go. Nothing all that complicated, right? It's just burgers. All right, they're coming along. There we go. That's that's fire. That's flame boy. Trust me, they're still gonna be juicy. All right. And what else we're gonna do? And I'm gonna cut some onion relatively thin. Cut those kind of thin. And with that, because I like broccoli, and this is just that pampered shell. And I'll just add some water to it, and then we'll steam it in the microwave for five minutes, and it'll come out wonderful, and life will be great. So there's the onion. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. I'm trying to dress up my juicy burger a little bit. All right. I'm trying. I'm trying. Right, Keith? All right. We're gonna call those done. I'm gonna get this pan good and hot, and we're gonna do the next step. And I've done this before, but I haven't done it in a while. But I'm going to make what I like to call a cheese hat. Alright. So there's that much cheese, however much cheese that is. All I did is I, um, I did the onion in there with a little bit of olive oil and I just wiped it out with a paper towel. And we'll let this get going. Bam! There's the cheese hat. Alright, I'll take that off. Put it on one of these burgers. Ooh. If you can see, it's going to melt down right over the burger. Let's do another cheese hat. Let's do another one. People love the cheese hat. Got the uh, nucleator's done nucleating. I smell broccoli. You start to see it start bubbling up. Now we should get close. This ain't gonna work on every pan. Again, this is why I love this uh, green pan. Oh, we got under there. Bam, look at there. Mmm, cheese hats. Take that off, put it on one of the burgers. 
Okay, I leave there. All right, let's do another one. Since we're here, we might as well, right? Now, uh, for a lot of people, that's way too much cheese. I don't eat a lot of cheese, but uh, I am an American, so <laughs> I guess we put too much cheese on everything. Lucky, lucky. I'm telling you, that looks good, right? With the onions and and the juicy burgers and the cheese hats. Woo! Everybody get ready, we're gonna eat. See how it's bubbling? I think we're gonna call that ready. Let's get the edge under there, it's ready to go. Get under there, bam! Bam, cheese hat! Cheese hat, people! We've gone this far. I like showing you going it on there. Bam, cheese hat. We gotta make one more. Maybe four burgers can't cheat them. How much cheese did I use? That much. That's how much cheese I used. I think tomorrow's gonna be salad day. <laughs> I'll take that off. Woo! Put it on a bun. That off. And put it on a bun. Going early. Bam! Woo! Turn the pan off, because that's hot enough. I like what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm excited. Excited, excited, excited. First thing we do is got a fork and I eat the broccoli. You know what I did to this broccoli? Nothing. I just steamed it. I had it recently though where people put lemon on it and it worked instead of using butter. Broccoli, my favorite vegetable. The rooster, my favorite sauce. Smiley faces. A good way to have a good day. Alright, let's do this. There we go. Oh, that burger. Look at that. Looky, looky, looky. Mmm. 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 That's like my favorite juicy burger. I will come back for a juicy burger every chance I can get. Oh. It's like jumping off a cliff of happy. Everybody loves to jump off that cliff into happy. That's good. The cheese hat works. The onion works. It's not that complicated. Again, I don't like real messy stuff, so I put the stuff inside. All right, YouTubers, have a great and wonderful day. Okay, and also, those are some strawberries. There's a packet of Truvia. Sweeten them up a bit. Eat some strawberries. Life is good.